Hello everyone, so in this video tutorial we're going to take you through our new desktop app. So our new desktop app allows you to select a bucket, a folder, CloudFront and then you can select a file directly from your desktop and then what it will do, it will encode it directly on your computer and then upload it to your Amazon S3 bucket. So what this does is it will save you lots of money because you're not going to be charged by AWS for using their encoders, you're actually going to be using your own computer as your encoder. Okay, so it's great functionality and um, can save you money. Okay, so let's just get started. I'm starting from scratch. All existing users can um, skip the first step, but I'm going to go through step by step on how to get set up. Now the the um, app, sorry, quickly just works with the plugin and it also works with our new instant themes. Okay, so it works with both. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a um, just set up a blank um, new S3 bubble account, okay. And what we want to do to start off with is let's go ahead and go to AWS I am connection. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect S3 bubble to Amazon Web Services, okay. So you connect using these things called policies, which you displayed here. So a policy allows you to edit and um, allows you to run, sorry, AWS services. So with this policy, we can run all these services. So there's various policies. There's one to run all the services. Now you don't need this pol whole policy if you're going to not be using all the services, but um, feel free to change and edit the policies that suit your setup. Okay, so we're going to be using this one for the desktop app, and you can see the one for the desktop app is very limited. Okay, but let's go ahead and go connection, copy. Let's go over to our AWS account. Now you're going to need an AWS account with S3 Bubble because we're going to be using um, secure encryption as well and let's go ahead and just create a policy okay now we'll create a policy here JSON paste our policy in review policy and we'll put S3B 2021 um, admin okay uh, our admin keys for S3 bubble okay and create the policy Okay, so our policy is now being created. Let's go and create a user that we're going to attach the policy to. And again, we'll just call this S3B 2021 admin. Okay, we're going to be using programmatic access. And next, we're going to go to permissions and we want to just attach the policy that we just created. Okay, so you can just search for S3B and you'll see that we've got our admin policy here. So we're just attaching our admin policy that we created to our user. Now this is going to give us keys which are essentially like a username and a password okay so these keys allows s3 bubble to access amazon um, on your behalf and run services so we can run all the media streaming services okay so what you want to do is you never share your keys you should be keeping these as secure as possible so what i'll do is i'll download the scv and i'll have the keys on my desktop and i'm going to go back to s3 bubble i'm going to paste the two keys that are being created in here okay great so as you can see my keys have been inserted and submitted so we can just check our permissions and it's just going to go off and it's going to say right we can now connect to s3 we can connect to CloudFront, and it's just going to run some other checks here okay but that's um, us set up with s3 bubble so now this is done we can start to run our setup so let's go to storage now Amazon S3 has a service called sorry Amazon Web Services has a store as a service called S3 and they're called S3 buckets and it's a place that you can store files. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is the desktop app is going to be uploading your video from your desktop. It's going to be encoding it and encrypting it if you set it to be encrypted, and then it's going to be uploading all the segments into Amazon S3. So we need to set up a bucket for this. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a delivery bucket. We'll call it S3B and delivery uh, 2021, and then we'll leave it at that, and we'll do it in the US East region. Okay, now we'll click Create Setup. Okay, this will make more sense when we use the desktop app to upload. Okay, so we'll just give that a second. Now, what this is doing is this is also setting up a CloudFront distribution. Now, CloudFront is used to distribute and cache your content throughout the globe. Okay, so it's quite in depth, but it's what you should be using as a standard with Amazon when streaming your media. Okay, so we've got our bucket here, and if we go into our bucket, you can see that we haven't got anything in the bucket. So let's just go back. And I just want to note that we, when we also set up this 
um, quick setup we install a policy that allows this bucket to talk to CloudFront okay now you don't need to worry about most of these things but you're going to need to check that your bucket has a policy else it's not going to work and we also set up bucket cores to allow for streaming so those are two things if you encounter any errors then those are the two things to check straight away make sure your bucket has a policy and cores attached okay so let's go ahead and what we want to do is we want to open up the desktop app so you can download the desktop app from the dashboard we've got two links here we're using the Mac version and once you've got it open there's a menu tab in the top called AWS and you can click enter credentials okay so we can ask for a, an access key and a secret key okay so again we just do exactly the same process we did before so let's go to IAM connection and under policies we'll grab the desktop app policy okay and then let's go back to Amazon policies create a policy JSON same as before and all we're given access is to S3 to list put get so Amazon always suggests limiting your policies and that's why we're creating multiple policies instead of using your the, the same global one um, that you set up for the actual service okay so it, it makes sense to use um, separate policies so let's review our policy and take an S3B desktop app and 2021 okay uh, policy Desktop. Okay, create policy, and that's created. And again, exactly the same as before. We want to add a user. I'm going to call this S3B Desktop App 2021. And programmatic access. Next, we'll add permissions, and we're going to attach the policy we just created. S3B Desktop App. Okay and existing users will be familiar with this setup so what I'm going to do is I'm creating this user it's given us our keys again I'm going to download the S S um, CSV sorry. and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to enter these keys into the desktop app okay great so as you can see I've entered my keys and we're in the US East region so let's just click submit now it's going to ask you to restart the app okay great so open up the app and log in with your S3 bubble login details for the actual website. Okay, you want to log in. And okay, and, and if we log in, and the app's going to open up here. Now you should see your bucket. Okay, great. So that's our bucket that we've created. It's now talking to Amazon Web Services. So we can go to our bucket. We can go to output folder and we can call this um, test uh, HLS no encryption no because encryption, we're not going to use encryption on this but we will further down the line and we're going to select our CloudFront distribution. Save and continue. So I'm going to select a video now here. Okay, so we selected our video. Now we can add a post. Okay, so we've added a poster. We're not going to be using subtitles and audio. Let's go to next. Here's where you can enter your proxy URL. We'll do that in the next tutorial. But now we're just going to click submit. Okay, so what we're doing now is it's going off and it's creating and generating a BIF thumbnail for us. Now this is what happens when you hover over the control bar. It will display thumbnails similar to all the major streaming services. So that's what happens when it says generating BIF. Generate our poster and we also um, resize it to the correct dimensions so it will fit to a 16-9 aspect ratio now what's happening now is we're actually encoding your media to um, HLS adaptive bitrate uh, this is so that it will do exactly what all the major services do again it will um, change bitrate depending on their internet connection so when you see a service kind of pixelate a bit it's obviously going down to a low internet connection but what it does is create a great um, re reliability that the media will actually play on all sorts of different connections okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video while this uploads okay so I'm just going to unpause the video here just to show it's finished the encoding process and what it's doing now is it's uploading to AWS so that's doing exactly what it says so if you go back over to S3 bubble just to see what's happening you'll see that you've got a new newly created folder and what it's doing now is it's actually uploading all your HLS segments so this is uploading um, a 1080p folder for your um, 1080p um, playlist 
uh, but it will keep going and upload all your playlists to this folder here okay so just while that's happening I've just I'm using the hosting setups for this demo but this will also work with the plugin so just be aware that you can just do exactly the same thing with the WordPress plugin I'm just gonna go and open up our hosted setup feel free to create a free demo here it will give you exactly what it shows here and what you can do is if we go and take a look at the website and then if we go ahead and just look into like podcasts then what we'll see is we're getting our media analytics now so we've got media analytics um, that will show our impressions it will also show how much is actually played within the video so you can wait um, up to 15 seconds or it will give you the amount of time played overall now this can be changed from 24 hours to one month to 30 minutes okay so you've got freedom over how much time has been played and you can refresh and download a PDF here as well okay so it shows us that six seconds have been played and it will keep updating and now this has gone to a pay-per-view okay so other things to note that um, what we can do is you can have people upload directly to your website using the uploader so if you set it up the same as we've done with our previous setup you add a policy everything works the same and your users can upload their videos to one of your buckets and then you can encode and add it to your website okay so that's just another cool feature um, but what I wanted to show you quickly was how adaptable the themes are so let's say this is our home page and we just wanted to change it we've built the whole theme with Elemental now the great thing about Elemental it's a page builder so it means you have pretty much full control you can build anything within your theme there's kind of no restrictions it's a blank canvas okay and we've built lots of widgets to work we've got a slider widget and our tiles widget okay we can scroll down now you can edit all these sections okay all you have to do is just click on them you can switch which item you want to show in the slider first you also have the ability to edit the content we can add a wave switch the wave direction uh, many things we can change all the text here now under um, our tiles what we can do is we can if we just uh, delete this one trend in and we'll delete continue so trend in continue it will also show the people recently watched so they're all already added but I just wanted to get down to the examples block okay this block here so if you click on the block then what we can do is we can actually change the card type to one of these you can have an image um, and there's lots of different ones so you could have a card and then you could have a portrait image okay and then what we could do we can add an extra big space so 30 pixels so space between and then what you can do is if you go to global design then you can add uh, border radiuses so we could have a 20 pixel border radius and update and then everything updates on the page builder okay okay and you can see our new updates here and our new styling throughout so again you can come in and you can place anything within these sections okay it all links in with the theme so we have our more like this which has um, should have it. everything will have a hover that's created through the desktop app so the biff thumbnails are used for this and um, you can add it to your watch list and uh, you can also purchase and it will purchase directly through the theme here and another thing to note is everything when it's built out if we access this back to the dashboard okay and go back to the dashboard then we have all our apps and feeds here so we have a Roku feed that's pre-built so you can build your Roku app, a Fire TV app, an iTunes app all of these are already pre-built and set up for you ready to go okay so you can go ahead and submit these to all these different services and um, submit your RSS feed and then you get really um, lots of traction for your website straight away no messing around and no development needed okay so that's just a quick overview of the theme now the app is going to take a while to upload because I'm uploading a 200 megabyte file um, but what I'm going to do is I'll just go ahead over here and we'll just go to channel which hosts all our media and we're just going to add new content and then we're going to put no encryption. encryption. Uh, this is a demo. Okay, now you have everything under in the channel here. We'll put it in a browse type. Okay, so we can put it in movies and examples. Okay, so we're not going to leave it under. If you want to put it under a paid um, plan, then you can just select one of the products. 
and then you can attach credits to it and what we're going to do is we're just going to set a portrait image and we'll just use this image here okay and we're good to go with that and now all we need to do is just wait for our video to finish uploading and then we can add the code here now the code the desktop app generates can be used for the WordPress plugin. So exactly the same as we're doing it here. The WordPress plugin has blocks that you can just put in the code and it will generate the HTML for you. Okay. So again, I'm just going to pause the video. Wait now while this uploads to AWS. Okay, great. So as you can see, the video is now uploaded successfully and it did it will um, output a code for you. So this code can be used with the WordPress plugin. So you just add it as you would normally be adding it with the WordPress plugin. I'm just going to take the code and add it through the theme. Click submit. Okay, and then what we can do is we can go ahead and update this post. If we head back over to the home page, okay, and we've got a new post here. And then we go and view our video, and you can see we've got our video playing here, and that's been uploaded directly through the dashboard. So one other thing I wanted to touch on um, is if we wanted to add an encrypted video so let's go ahead and I'm just going to go to customize theme and video options okay we're finished with this now so we can click OK so what we want to do is we want to take the proxy URL okay so I'm going to copy and paste this we're going to select the bucket it's going to go into the same bucket output folder we're going to put test in and this one's going to be encrypted okay and it's going to go to our cloud for distribution now I'm going to select my video file here Okay, and then we'll go ahead and select my poster. Okay, and then we're going to go next. And this is where we enter in our proxy URL that we pasted. So it's important if you change your website URL or if you change it to HTTPS, this won't work. You'll have to re encode it. So make sure you've got your website set up first before you enter your proxy URL. Now we're going to click submit. And what it's going to go, it's going to go off and generate our BIF thumbnail. So what this one is doing is it's actually encoding our media, but it's actually encrypting it at the same time. So it's encrypting each segment. Um, to prevent um, browser extensions etc from downloading your media for security okay so this is what this is actually doing with this section okay now it's going to go ahead and upload to AWS and while that's actually uploading let's go ahead and just create our player so just close this and so we've got no encryption so let's just add one with encryption okay so I'm going to type with encrypt just put this just as a test okay and again we'll put it in the examples category okay and we'll scroll down and what we'll do is we'll give it a poster image and let's just give it this image here okay so we'll set that as our poster image now um, did we have to add anything so we could add some people to this one um, we could put it behind a download so we could say that we want this to be behind our SVOD setup and we'll give them a teaser time of say 10 seconds we're not going to require login but you can force them to have to log in to view this video okay so there's some setups here that you can monetize your content and let's just head back over here and what I'm going to do is just pause the video while this finishes uploading okay great so as you can see our video is now uploaded so again all we have to do is take the code now again this code can just be pasted into the WordPress plugin but we're going to paste it in here and we click it submit, it populates the fields for us. We can also type in a duration if we want down here and you can put in extra fields. Um, here's some Roku, if it's a 360 degree video, you can click here and you can add your vast advertising URLs, etc. But let's go ahead and publish. So let's go back to the home page and you'll see now we've got a with encryption block. Okay, and uh, this is our video now playing with encryption and with our bit of thumbnails. Okay, so that's how everything works with the new desktop app and as soon as you're set up you can just keep coming in changing um, the video you want to upload and upload and everything's managed and run through the desktop app which will save you a lot of money in the long run instead of using AWS so all we're using AWS for is for the AWS S3 bucket because you need a place to store your media okay and there's no point reinventing the wheel AWS is the lead in in the, well the lead in the industry when it comes to media streaming with Amazon Prime Netflix everything so it makes sense to use AWS and S3 with CloudFront okay so we've got a super powerful service there here and I hope you enjoy our new desktop app